Emasculation is the destruction of a man's essential masculine nature to make him weak and impotent so that we can have the control, so we can continue to blame men, make them wrong and bad, and never have to look at our own behavior. In my opinion, the counter term to toxic femininity, toxic masculinity, is a myth that we make up to hide behind so we never have to look at ourselves as women and our own toxic behaviors with men. The term toxic masculinity is toxic femininity, meaning it is meant to demean men, to emasculate them and take away their power. There's no accountability on us as women to look at our own behaviors, which in my experience was the very thing that held me back, was the very thing that kept me hating men and preventing me from having a healthy relationship with a man. It didn't make me feel good. It made me feel powerless. And at the end of the day, angry, bitter, and resentful. I played out toxic femininity in my marriage until I was called out for my woman ways and my poor toxic behaviors that were destroying my husband and destroying my marriage. And that's what I want to share with you today and teach you the solution so that you can change and evolve as a woman and a wife. I learned a different way to be in a marriage, a different way to see myself as a woman and a different way to view men that I want to share with you and teach you because it leads to actually being happy, empowered, and in your true nature as a woman, loving, kind, caring, not walled up, which is where you will find your true strength and your true feminine nature. And I think the key thing for us to understand here as women is that we already know that we emasculate men. We already know that we emasculate our husbands. We suppress it. We justify it so we don't have to look at it. But suppressing it and justifying it is the very thing that keeps us trapped and keeps us very unhappy in our marriages. It's by shining the light on it and seeing it in ourselves that we're empowered to change and it will have a dramatic transformational impact on your marriage. When we don't realize that we are playing out toxic femininity in our marriages and that we are emasculating our husbands, it's the very things that cause what you complain about in your marriage, that your husband ignores you, that he's checked out, that he doesn't do anything to help out around the house, that uh, he doesn't listen to you. He doesn't understand you. You don't feel like he's attracted to you or desires you anymore, doesn't pay you attention, doesn't appreciate you. Those are symptoms in a marriage of our toxic femininity of emasculating our husband's. When you are married to a good man, all he wants is for you to be happy. And it doesn't take much for him to be happy in the relationship. I read a, a, a gold nugget of advice in marriage from Dr. Laura Schlesinger in her book, The Proper Care and Feeding of Husbands. And she shares that all it takes for a man to be happy in a marriage with a woman is a beer, a sandwich, and a little loving. She couldn't be more right in the best way possible good men are simple they just need a little bit of appreciation and a beer sandwich and a little loving is the best way to show that appreciation to a man generally speaking and then the only other thing that they need is for us to be happy in ourselves happy wife happy life i also like to say happy wife happy husband we have all the power as women in a marriage to make it really good or really bad. I like to say as women, we're the sun and men are the earth and they revolve around us and how we are showing up, our emotional state and how we're being in the relationship. So if I'm unhappy in myself and miserable as a woman, then my husband's going to revolve around that. But if I'm happy in myself and I'm kind and I show a little appreciation and respect in the relationship for my husband, then he will go out and get the moon and stars and everything else. And it's that easy, that effortless. 